Welcome to STEM Time with the Houston Public Library. I'm Ms. Crystal, and we're really glad you're joining us today. Do you like scavenger hunts? Well, we're going to go on one today, but this scavenger hunt will be to see how well you know your five senses. So this is a great activity for young people between the ages of about two and a half, three, up to about six years old. Let's find out how well you know your senses. So parents, here are the materials you'll need for this activity. You will need pictures to represent the five senses, a bag to collect your items in, colors if you want to color your pictures like I did, scissors if you want to cut them out, and an area to group like items together, like on a table. Now, I just went and Googled to find some pictures and the activity sheet that I found had not only visuals, but it also had the words of the five senses. I chose to just go with visuals for this activity. So, the five senses we have that we're going to be scavenger hunting for are for things we can smell, things we can feel and how they feel, things we see, things we can taste and how they taste different, and things we hear. So, let me give you some examples. You can go all over your house and in the backyard and find so many more things than I have. I'm just going to show you a few examples. All right, so for the sense of smell, in my house, I found a candle. I love candles. It has a wonderful smell. For the sense of feel, I found two different things. I love rocks. So I found this really cool rock and it's very smooth. I like the way that rock feels. But I also found some sandpaper. It feels really rough. My hands really don't like to be on that. So those are two different things I can feel. Things I can see. <gasps> right now, I have a beautiful vase full of these beautiful roses. Now the great thing is, not only do flowers fit under the five senses with what you can see, but this could also go under my sense of smell. But for right now, I will put that with my sense of sight. Hmm, things we can taste. Oh my, I could have gone to any cabinet in my kitchen and found things to fit in this category. So I chose something real extreme. Salt. Salt with a little bit does great, but that has a definite taste. Then I balance that out with something really sweet. I'm going to enjoy this later. <laughs> and last, things that we hear. Hmm. Oh, I love this sound. Listen. A little bell that I had, but I also found a whistle. So there you go. Now, the bigger your table, the more items you can find, then group them under the correct sense in what you find. I know you're gonna do awesome with this. So have a great time with your family, and maybe you can even time yourselves to give yourself a time limit on finding something for every single one of them. So take some pictures of what you find around your house and post them to social media with the hashtag I love HPL. We would love to see how this worked out for you and all the fun that you had. So we will look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.